I don't need the recognition or acknowledgement. I want to... My appointment comes from the Prime Minister. I want to focus on five years, making sure that when I leave, my stakeholders, my athletes, they are satisfied with the reforms that have been done in the ecosystem. I have to talk about my immediate stakeholders, my athletes, my national sports associations, my coaches, uh, the youth that we are dealing with. These are my immediate stakeholders. For others, there will always be criticism. Uh, I'm, I'm not perfect. But, like I explained, with the limited budget that we have, and times have changed, the spending those days and the spending today is totally different. And we are competing with a lot of nations that are investing a lot of money into sports. Because for, for some of them, it's, it's an industry, right? So, in the face of all this competition, and when you have little, you've got to make sure that you have strategic partnership with people who have been there, done that, like NSSU, and to tap into their expertise. Uh, why Japan? Because, like I said, one university alone delivered 40 Olympic gold. Asia, Asia, they understand the cultural values that we have. Uh, and we are quite similar. And he gets along well, the professors who come with our MSN officers and our ISN and our coaches. Okay, the reforms that I've shared with you is to fix the ecosystem, to fix the talent pool that people want to see. I want to see my pelapis, amount of pelapis grow double. I want to see my podium athletes. Instead of relying on one or two names, I now have five names, for example. I want to see that. I came in at a time where Lee Chong Wei has retired and everybody is always talking back about Lee Chong Wei or Nicole David has retired. Today we have Siva Sangari, right? We need to start focusing on those who are coming ahead of us. But fixing this ecosystem, I have to grow the number of runners, the, the, the sports that we're not good at. You know, I, I need to grow back so that we will have a future Nuru Huda again. Yeah. To do that, we have to first understand what is deterring that number from growing. Where are the kids going to swim when the swimming pools are shutting down? Why isn't anybody fixing the operational cost to run a swimming pool? Right? So, we are taking time to fix all that. The reforms that I, we are doing, Class Renang may one day contribute to our medalists uh, being uh, birthed out of a hot spot district for drowning now. But am I going to see this six-year-old, seven-year-old child suddenly represents SEA Games. No, I'm not going to see that now, right? So, even after five years, I may not see the result that I want to see because my talent is still growing. But I'm hoping that one day, these, these athletes will look back and say, you know, I was part of that swimming, free swimming lesson that KBS did yeah. before I had no opportunity to swim. Or the child who says, Instead of focusing on TikTok or Twitter or Instagram, I know how it feels to run 100 meters in Bukit Jalil Stadium. And that, that feeling, I cannot get online. So I want to set my time to run. You know, we have to offer something different to our young people and to understand times have changed. Our young people today, I cannot talk about 1990s when I was in school. Rakan Muda has to be rebranded, repackaged in a way that attracts them today. Yeah. So these are all the things that we are doing, speaking to stakeholders, understanding why and the limitations I have. I cannot share publicly. I cannot say I don't have enough money. Mm. Right? Yeah. But then encouraging our agencies like Perbadanan Stadium, how do you get new sources of income? You open up facilities, you get new traffic coming in, you have new sources of advertisement. Yeah. And, and just constantly pushing... Uh, a lot of ideas are not done in one single meeting. Multiple meetings before people are convinced to say, okay, YB, I will do what you say. Uh, and uh, I am glad that it has taken us some time to develop Class Renang, to do um, the high-level committee. I get a lot of support from the TPM, Zaid Hamidi, and of course the Prime Minister. Uh, every time I explain the situation that we're in, a lot of people feel that $5 million for the national football team is a big deal. It's a big deal. But when you are comparing who they are competing against and the amount of money they are, their opponents are spending, you know, 
I'm just so glad that our boys went in there, like when they played with Korea. The children who came to watch our big screen, uh, watch the Korean match, they now have that imprinted in their memory that Malaysia is as good as Korea because we drew three all. You know, yeah. that is something that we are leaving to the next generation of children. Yeah. yeah. So, um, like I said, uh, I will not give up in the face of a lot of criticism. You know, not getting enough medals uh, or divers disqualified. Um, I I am here on a mission to grow the number of athletes to make it attractive enough for people to stay as an athlete yeah. and not leave sports yeah. after twenty one and say I'm I'm going to study. Yeah, we are working on that. Yeah, so uh, I, I will just have to bite the bullet, the criticism that will continue to judge sports excellence based on medals without understanding that we are where we are today, maybe for uh, years before of maybe certain policy that have been misplaced. That's why we are here today. Uh, but I need to fix this now.